We're going to talk about inequality and opportunity in America. Let's start by dividing the population up into five equally sized slices. If you're boring like me, you might call them quintiles. In an absolutely equal society where everybody had the same amount of money, each fifth of the distribution would get a fifth of the money. It would look like this. Of course, that's not how it is. In the real world, the bottom quintile, the bottom fifth, gets 5% of the money, and the top fifth get more than half the money. But I think in terms of fairness, and certainly in terms of American fairness, the question's less what's the gap between the bottom and the top, and it's more what are your chances of making it from the bottom to the top? How mobile is society? How far does where you're born on the ladder affect where you end up on the ladder? So in a, a perfectly mobile society, uh, an opportunity utopia, being born down here in the bottom quintile would have no effect on where you ended up. You'd be equally likely to make it to the top as to stay at the bottom. But now I want to show you what it's really like. Right now, for the people born at the bottom, more than one in three of them will remain stuck at the bottom, and just one in ten are going to make it all the way up to the top. That's bad enough, but it's, it's even worse for certain groups in the population. If you were born in the bottom quintile and you're a black American, you have a 50% chance of remaining stuck at the bottom and just a 3% chance of making it Horatio Alger style all the way to the top. So this is the picture for black America. For white Americans, the picture looks close to that utopia with roughly the same chances of making it to the top of the distribution as of being stuck at the bottom. Those who are born at the bottom and are raised by parents who are never married. And for that group, the odds of making it to the top are pretty slim as well. For them, it looks like this. For those raised by married parents, it looks like this. Again, it's pretty close to what you might hope for in a perfectly mobile society. Those who are born at the bottom, if they're raised by married parents, have a pretty good chance of making it to the top. So if you don't complete high school, there's a 50% chance you're going to stay stuck at the bottom if you were born at the bottom, and a 1% chance that you're going to make it to the top 20% of the income distribution as an adult yourself. So for them, it looks like this. If you're born at the bottom, born in this bottom fifth, but you're one of the few born down here who managed to get a four-year college degree, transforms your chances of moving up the income distribution. Go to college. We can have a long argument about the gap between the rich and the poor, but I think we can all agree that we don't want to live in a society where where you're born determines so strongly your chances in life of where you end up. America has a dream of equal opportunity, and we're a very long way right now from that dream. We have a big problem, and we need big solutions.